Radio Nigeria, uplifting the people and uniting the nation. The time is 7 o'clock. Here is the news on the network service of Radio Nigeria. Good morning. I am Olayemi Dania. This news is streaming live on RadioNigeria.gov.ng. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Radio Nigeria HQ on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash Radio Nigeria Network. We now bring you the spotlight on Africa's preparedness to conquer pandemics. It is as written by Dr. Rose, G Dr. Mrs. Rose Gidado, Country Coordinator of Ab Nigeria Chapter. A famous philosopher, George Santayana, once said, and I quote, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. End of quote. In other words, history repeats. Historically, disease outbreaks have ravaged humanity, often changing the course of history and even threatening the end of entire civilization. Regardless of their timing, all pandemics were lethal, having killed 300 million people cumulatively. The coronavirus disease, otherwise known as COVID-19, has already spread to 210 countries around the world with 3 million infections and 200,000 deaths. The pandemic has affected the world on an unprecedented scale, shutting down much of the globe and severely constraining international travel, trade and commerce. After extensive research, Dr. Emmanuel Okogbenin, the AATF Director of Technical Operations wrote with Dr. Francis Nangayo, AATF Head of Regulatory Affairs, and Dr. Daniel Kialo, AATF Policy Specialist, postulated that the agriculture sector has been seriously affected. Projected impacts of COVID-19 on food systems in Africa is alarming. This important sector for economic development is, however, very vulnerable to pandemics. Consequently, even well-intentioned measures to curb the spread of a pandemic, such as border and port closures, curfews and lockdowns, inadvertently occasion economy-wide effects and serious agricultural supply chain disruptions. These disruptions lead to job losses, shortages of agricultural inputs, scarcity of foodstuffs, huge post-harvest losses, food price spikes and labor scarcity. It is imperative that all the measures undertaken during outbreaks are marshaled in a coordinated policy response framework at national and international levels to minimize the disruptions of agricultural supply chains. Experiences of past pandemics in Africa and recent lessons from China the first country to be hit by COVID-19, strongly support the need for establishing green corridors for unimpeded flow of goods and services in a move that would lessen vulnerabilities of millions of people in countries affected by the pandemic. The resilience of livelihoods on African farmers who constitute nearly 65% of the population will inevitably be tested during and after the pandemic. In managing the disease, the killer blow to COVID-19 pandemic lies more in scientific research and innovations including biotechnology that could deliver a vaccine soon. In addition, challenges in the food production and distribution during the outbreak of pandemics can also be addressed through technology. Presently, Africa can access more advanced technologies to combat farming challenges than at any other time in history. Some of these technologies include high-yielding crop varieties that can perform well under drought conditions, can resist pests and diseases, and can utilize nutrients more efficiently. Other novel technologies include farm mechanization options and digital agriculture solutions for crop management and knowledge dissemination. Technologies with compelling potential for increasing productivity in dealing with pandemics are poorly adopted due to lack of an enabling policy, regulatory and institutional environment. Investment in the sector remains very low across the continent. It remains to be seen if the advent of COVID-19 may highlight and test government's resolve to explore the potential usage of technology in addressing the scourge and its impacts 
Although the COVID-19 pandemic is threatening to inflict more pains, as most modeling projections seem to indicate that the worst is probably yet to come, there is still hope. Technological advancement leading to better scientific understanding of factors that incubate pandemics have helped to reduce morbidity and mortalities. What is left is for policymakers to create the necessary incentives to accelerate the use of technologies to improve crop production and avert disruptions to production and marketing systems, which is a sure bet towards enhancing the resilience of farmers while cushioning vulnerable individuals. That spotlight on Africa's preparedness to conquer pandemics was written by Dr. Mrs. Rose Gidado and read by Emilia Ojemudia. Have a pleasant Monday.